Let me finish tonight with that fabulous rally on the Washington Mall this weekend. I loved it. I haven't been at anything like it in years. Everyone there, and there were a lot of people there, was having the time of their life. I think the key to the event's success was that the organizers, John Stewart and Steve Colbert, know their people. They know they came for fun to be at this hint of Woodstock, this blur of memory from the 60s. It was the kind of event you want to be able to say, I was there, and yeah, it was great. I think Stewart up there on the stage in front of the Capitol got it right from the start. He said, these are tough times, but not the end times. This apocalyptic stuff from Glenn Beck, the stuff they're selling out there on the right, is really the same old fire and brimstone brought back this time for commercial and political exploitation. My big question, and I don't know the answer, is why there was such a big difference in the mood between these two rallies. Bex was somber and righteous and proudly defined and crusty. This Saturday, the feeling was, isn't this great? Isn't it surprising how being here is all this? It's simply fun. Isn't it a trip that it's just fun? Maybe it's all about age. The Beck crowd was old, hanging on mildly to heavily churchy. The Stuart Colbert people were happy, enjoying the moment, young or remembering when they were young. This isn't a protest. It was more like, as I said, a rock concert. It was like a big feeling of us. I'm convinced that much of our lives today is about finding good company. It's people needing other people, like in the Streisand song. Maybe it's watching a show like this regularly. Maybe it's investing enough to go out and show up at a rally with other people who share some real sentiment with you, some common desire. For the Beck crowd, that sentiment is for the past, fear of what they see happening to this country, a wanting to go back to something was once felt but is now left. For the Stuart Colbert crowd, the crowd I was with yesterday on the Washington Mall, it's an embrace of the America that is, the real country all around us today, the noise, the crowds, the differences, and yes, the sometime absurdity of it all. I had nothing to do with it yesterday but to show up with the other 200,000 people out there, but I say it was great. Stewart and Colbert and Cat Stevens and John Legend and Tony Bennett and Sam Waterston and Father Guido Sarducci were all great. That's hardball for now. Thanks for being with us.